Jupiter influencing the moon basically is a very beautiful combination. And when Jupiter is influencing the moon, all the blemishes related to moon, Kemetrum, Yoga, etc., all of these things are cancelled. So Jupiter influencing moon is very good. Jupiter will influence moon by being situated with moon 7th, 5th or 9th too. That Jupiter with moon will also make a Gajkeshri Yoga, which particularly makes the native have a very good character and behavior at least. So this is a very good thing and all the weakness related to moon will be over. So because weakness related to moon will be over, native will have a firm mind, steady mind. And because moon also indicates wealth, native will have firm and steady wealth. Moon indicates popularity, native will be popular. Moon indicating long life, longevity, native will have long life, good longevity, good health as well. Apart from that, <clears throat> native will be leader of men. All diseases and misfortunes will be destroyed. Native will live disease free. Native will have very good fortune. Native will have long life. Native will be valorous. And native will always have wealth. Jupiter in second house from moon, it will make Sunfa Yoga, will make sure that native comes from a rich family and is himself very rich and resourceful. The native will be very religious also, will not engage in any bad deeds, will be very good in speaking, very logical and very sweet spoken, straightforward, will destroy his enemies, will be successful in any type of competitive thing, competitive examinations, etc. Will be honored by the government but will be aggressive as well. He will have a long life, will be dignified and religious person, will be generally free from all sins, will not commit sins by his dispositions. Jupiter in third house from moon makes a wealth combination, makes the person rich and resourceful. Apart from that, native will be loved by people, will be popular in between people, will be supported by people. The father of the native also will be very wealthy and famous. Jupiter in fourth house from moon, native is without happiness. He will cause many troubles to the mother and other maternal side of the family. He will work under others, will be devoid of comforts, will suffer from the maternal side of the family and generally will serve others, not being able to do good in his own life. So though it is a Gajkeshi Yoga setup, but Jupiter in fourth house from moon is not very good. That is the particular reason. I generally say don't take astrological yogas on face value. Jupiter in fifth house from moon, it will be influencing the moon. So long life, good character, etc. will be there. But apart from that, the native is sad. Thrown out of his home, forsaken by his family members. He will protect women. He will live outside, outside of his birthplace, outside of his state country. But he will have financial difficulties. And he will live by, you know, being dependent on the mercy of others. Generally, the life will be worthless. But the native will have a divine sight. Can do good into astrology. He is good into planning. His planning does not work for himself, but for others it will work. The native will be glorious. Native will have children. But the native will be aggressive as well. In the later part of the life, in the second part of life, generally, I, will, uh, I have seen after the age of 35-40, the native starts becoming rich and eventually becomes rich because as I told you, moon indicates riches and when Jupiter is influencing the moon, moon becomes powerful. So the riches is there. Jupiter in seventh house from, uh, sorry, Jupiter in sixth house from moon, this will make Adi Yoga, will give Raja Yoga. Sixth house, seventh house, eighth house from moon, any benefit is there, it will make Adi Yoga, will give power, comfort, status, authority to the native. Right. Much resources, Rajyuga, the native is king-like. Simple word, Rajyuga, the native is king-like, right? So simply, Jupiter in sixth house from moon, Adi Yoga is there, that is a Rajyuga, native is king-like, have multiple servants, resources, etc., power authority. Apart from that, native will have a divine sight. His ideas will never fail, his plan with, plan with never, never fail. Anything he will think, he will execute, execution will be done well. Apart from that, divine sight also means that the person can see past, present and future, his anticipation is correct. He does good in astrology. In fact, even if the person is not into astrology, then also his assumptions, his plans, his ideas work the way he plans them to plan. And that's the basic point. But the native, the face of the native, the persona of the native will be without luster, right? So will not be something very significant as such. Native will be very rich, but will have multiple diseases as well. Generally, native will have sadness, melancholy in his nature and will be devoid of a house. Even if we have a house, he does not live in the house. So happiness of the house, happiness from the house 
the happiness of being able to live in own house with family members children etc is difficult for it jupiter in seventh from moon once again rajyoga the yoga will be there power authority king like status which is comforts will be there apart from that because it is influencing the moon it will give long life because moon indicates longevity then native will spend a little native will generally have fat obese heavy body but have a mansion big property native will be thrifty but important that means childbirth can be delayed very few children or no children generally will be the result will be head of the family most successful most powerful most influential in his family most influential in his family in his family but will suffer from diseases arising out of weakness particularly related to secrecy of vitamins and minerals in the body jupiter in 8th house from moon once again adi yoga is there the native will be rich powerful authoritative king like but the native will be diseased as well the native will be very intelligent but will fight with his children will be learn it but will not get happiness in his life because of his own decisions and wrong wrong decisions particularly and in my practical experience because the native is engaged in much bad karmas and as a result of those bad karmas does not get happiness in life the native generally indulges in fights with his own family members multiple times the father of the native is very prominent jupiter in ninth house from moon he will aspect the moon moon indicating riches there will be riches moon indicating long life there will be long life steady firm mind etc as i told in the beginning of the video that will be there native will follow his dharma will be worshiped supported loved by people will be famous will be engaged in dharma and other dharmic deeds of donations etc native will worship gods and gurus native will be pious native will be rich and native will be virtuous jupiter in 10th house now 10th house jupiter if you work jupiter indicated grand parents so engaging in engaging in profession with grand parents or mentors teachers is very good apart from that jupiter in 10th house will also make a wealth combination 10th house from moon will also make a wealth combination native will be rich and wealthy but native will leave his children and spouse and will like to live like an ascetic in the case where jupiter is afflicted generally the marriage is delayed childbirth is delayed much affliction it is denied in normal case by the age of 40 45 person get disinterested in his spouse and children and generally either forsake them or live in the same house as a stranger jupiter in 11th house from moon will make dhan yoga so riches and affluence will be there the native will have multiple vehicles native will live king like native will have royal status and native will have many sources of comforts jupiter in 12th house from moon sunfa so yoga it will make native will come from a very resourceful family native will be famous native will be popular apart from that native will go against his own people specifically family members and specifically towards those friends who support him in bad times when good time comes he goes against them happiness because of this particular trait of going against people who have helped and supported him native rarely remains happy in his life 